I have done over a year of YouTube now, and I thought it would be cool if I could revisit some of my past experiences and videos to see how much I've grown and got better as a channel. And with the 100 subscriber milestone reached pretty near the end of last year, I think it's a great time to revisit and summarise what has happened over my first year of Minecraft YouTube. So of course, as any timeline rightfully should, let's go all the way back through the passage of time and start at the beginning, the first video which was uploaded on my channel. It really wasn't anything special, I think it was its significant lack of frames, even less than the ones I have today, made it not a very enjoyable video, but despite that, to this day it has over 60 views, which I think is purely because of the reason it's like the first video uploaded, it's been up there for a very long time. But but you can see from my one of my latest videos that I've improved quite a lot in terms of my New Year celebrations, as you'd see from the 2022 one. I've improved quite a bit, if you just look at a little bit of a comparison, it's just like, it's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit more impressive than my previous one, and who knows, maybe in 2023, god, I'm saying that's so long away, even in 2023, maybe I'll step it up even further, who knows, maybe my YouTube channel may still even be going then. Now, moving on to all of that redstone nonsense. I haven't really done too many recent redstone videos because I've kind of been more interested in the command block side of things. But my early redstone videos were undoubtedly, well, redstone videos. They were decent content that I used to try and get by, and I originally planned to do much more in it, but once I got interested in command blocks, I found that was a much better content idea for me. So those redstone videos, so the T flip flop one, as well as a few TNT cannon videos I did later that year aren't really demonstrating of what my channel is as a whole nowadays although my minecraft redstone t flip flops video is the currently most viewed video on my channel that isn't a short which is quite surprising but although as i said earlier it's one of the earliest videos so that could also be anticipated so after that i think we can start to move on to more of the modern oogly boogly stuff specifically starting off with Mikitania, the biggest build series that is on my channel, and a series that I was previously devoted to doing, but I've kind of died off a bit, it's not really uploaded any more episodes of that, I may do some, you never know, revisit some of the old content, do some of that, watch out for that soon, I'll probably just do a short if I do end up doing that, so that's still a potential idea, but Mikitania was basically just a big futuristic kind of build and it kind of helped me in the early days to really develop my building skills and helped me be a lot better really. But the third episode really got no views so that's probably one of the reasons that I didn't upload another episode pretty soon so after that. So aside from all that, just like, subscribe, do all of that if you want to see me do a fourth episode of Mikitania and maybe more if I get good support to do. Moving on to the first command block creations, where I first started got interesting in the world of coding which we could do within Minecraft and change the way how the game looked and feel. My first one of this was Apocalypse Duels, where it's just Minecraft but the void rises, which now recently I've managed to make with just one command, but back then I did not know the techniques I did today, and so I ended up making hundreds of command blocks just to make the void seemingly rise in quite a small area. But that was nice, the video did pretty well, and soon after that I followed up with Minecraft but I'm a superhero, a kind of survivalist thing. I haven't really done too many other things that are modified survival, more to the minigame side of things nowadays, but it was a good try and it certainly also did pretty decently. I also did a video on trying to beat Minecraft with that, but we don't talk about that, as that is one of the other failed projects that I never continued because it just simply didn't get adequate views. But I had started a legacy which I still continue today on this channel 
on messing around and making various things with command blocks, I started producing different command block creations at quite a fast rate. Pretty shoddily made, not very advanced projects, which nonetheless held quite a lot of fun in them, in creating and of course playing with my friends with them as I did in quite a few of them, such as the Easter Egg Hunt, which t still today is actually quite a fun minigame and something I can repeat or maybe update each year that goes past. After I'd got up and had my breakfast and checked the view counter on that first morning after uploading the electric fence shot, I really couldn't quite believe it, as the video had gained over 128 views overnight. This thing was completely unheard of to me, as all of my previous videos had got max 40 or 50 views, and this one had beaten that by over double in one day. And that is where my spurt of uploading shorts started and I still continue to this day uploading shorts at least once per week, trying to get as many views as possible and trying to make them short, entertaining and snappy but also fun and entertaining throughout. But while all of this was going on and I was getting more and more subscribers at a reasonable, undeniable rate, I started my first SMP series, and the only one to this date, Hydra SMP. It was just a pretty regular SMP, nothing too special except for the fact that I made <laughs> half of a very big hill got full diamond armor and made a lot of progression before I even started the first episode. But yeah, that continued for quite a while, I got up to episode 7 before I finally got bored and the audience was just, well, not giving me any views. <laughs> so that kind of died out, so that didn't really last too long, but all the while my shorts had still been going and I was very close now to a hundred subscribers. It was probably nearly six months ago when I first started the Dungeon Crawler. And that was not, at that time it wasn't meant to be a full scale game, it was simply a fun custom little boss battle which Harry Minecraft Hydra had been working on and I just wanted to have a look, see what it is, check it out, see if there was any worth in continuing it. And there really was, so we spent a lot of time daily creating this strange little game and we started off with just making a tutorial floor and then the tutorial hub and soon enough it all spiralled out of control into a full scale game which I still haven't got the first episode out six months after uploading the trailer so I think the actual time I started it was a bit more than six months ago by now but I will be trying to get the first episode of that out soon, as Floor 1 is very near completion. So, be on the watch for that, and that brings us up all the way to today. So, the last year has really been a very good year for my channel. It's been the only full year for my channel so far, and we've come a long way from the humble beginnings of a small inconspicuous little 2021 sign to the dungeon crawl at the huge island that we made and this video. So I'd like to thank you all for watching this timeline of the past year 
and thank you for all of my subscribers, all of my views, and the support that you've given me over the past year. It's really been great, and I don't really have plans for stopping anytime soon. So, with that, I'll leave you with the hope that maybe one day we'll get that Dungeon Crawler episode out, or maybe I'll do another Mkhitanya episode. But you'll never know, and I guess you'll have to wait, because I have done far too much time into this video. There are over a hundred overlays that have actually been put in this. So, thank you for watching all the way to the end, and goodbye.